Hi everyone, hope everybody is doing well in seventh grade. Uh, it's Thursday, March 26th. Uh, we're in your packet again, page two. I mean, I'm sorry, packet two. We're on page seven, so it looks like this. So we are doing division. Now remember, um, I'm gonna put some of these problems on Google Docs, and that's where you're gonna answer the questions and submit them, and this second uh, page is optional. You can do it if you want to, but you don't have to, and you don't need to submit that or turn it in or anything. Um, so, well, I'm gonna go ahead and do number one for you, or with you, I should say, on the whiteboard, and then you guys are gonna do the rest. Well, I may probably not all of them. I'm gonna pick and choose. I'm gonna pick a few to put on our Google Docs, okay? Okay, so hopefully this is working for you guys. All right, here's my problem. I've got 2,175 divided by 25. So this is long division. To go over our steps, 25 needs to be divided evenly into 2,175. Um, and when I say evenly, actually on this um, for this lesson, you're not gonna have any remainder. So it, this number is gonna be able to divide evenly into the number that's uh, on the inside, which this is the dividend and this is the divisor. Okay, so 25 and I want to look at the very first number in the largest place value digit, which is two. Can 25 go into two? Can 25 times something equal two? And it can't. So now I got to look at this digit along with this digit. Can 25 times something equal 21? And no, it can't. So now I got to look at 217. 25 times what? gets me close to 217, but I cannot go over 217. And it happens to be eight. Now you may have to go off to the side and do some multiplication to try to figure out how many times 25 is gonna go in, into 217. But I do wanna give you a hint, 25, think of that as quarters, and think of a dollar as 125. So how many 25, how many quarters would you need to get to 100? You would need four. So this can go evenly into hundreds. So think of, oh, okay, if I have eight quarters, that would make $2 or 200. Okay, so I did my division. I did my multiplication. Eight times 25 is 200. My next step is subtraction. Give yourself plenty of room to work and make sure you keep your numbers nice and straight. 217 minus 200 is 17. Bring down is my next step, 175. 25 times seven equals 175. So you're not gonna have a remainder. So your answer or your quotient is 87. Okay, so real quick video today, all right? And oh, we didn't start class with the, or the lesson with prayer. I'm so sorry, let's do that now. And then Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you. Okay, so you will have a lesson that is going to be due tomorrow uh, on Google Docs, so please answer the questions there, and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, guys, have a great day, and we will talk tomorrow. Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us.